Spirit. Amen. Amen. I want you, all the ones who say sanctify now, to pray my back. Perhaps when he was in sin. That's some secret place. You used to hang out with am I right? Talk to me. Some secret restaurant or secret hotel you used to hang out. Amen. The end? What about them day rules? Dark night, even more light. You don't care. You know, have a secret place where you hang out. Amen. Montague, anybody remember Montague? Beach, they used to call it lovers. You know? Night. There's some secret place under that great tree. People use the meat. Are you talking the truth? Amen. 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 Secret places. And it's secret because only you and the person are supposed to know. Huh? But you forget that that person that you trust so much have another buddy. They tell that buddy. I've known sometimes that buddy set you right up. Go tell them, the, the husband will go tell the wife right that you is. Cause plenty trouble. Secret pieces. Amen. But I'm talking about the believers. Those things, for say, are behind, right? Sneak in the hotel. Mm. And those things are finished. Yes, but to the believer, you gotta have a secret place where you can talk to your God. And I don't mean praying out of life for the neighbors to hear you pray, because trust me, that don't impress the neighbors. Talking, 
to keep in business. Amen. And I, I mean, I'm not going too deep into that, but that's a fact. All of yes, you, you call that secret. Somehow, somebody knew. Not only you, want, somebody else knew. Somebody peeped the card. In your spiritual walk with God, you ought to have a secret place that only you and God is there talking to one another. And it's sweet to commune with God. Sense the 
No, no. You allow the devil to strip you and say, I got enough. I can make it. Try 
that state that lives in the secret place of the Most High shall abide. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I tell you this before, but I know the end of the end of times when, when, when my spirit was crushed. Curse me. Everybody experienced that? Curse me. I come with physical pain. I come with that, 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 that. Huh? I come with your mind, your, your spirit, sir. You don't know what to do. Walk on the floor. There are times when I would sneak on bed. Sneak out the room, huh? Just to go into another part of the house. Or sometimes I open the front door, come on, man, and I stand up at the front door, or even take the chance and walk in the street, come on, go on, on the monastery hill and come back down, come on, because my spirit is crushing. I try to find that.
say this in the finish. Do the best you can to, to stay worshiping God with a full tank. You hear me? In other words, don't do a half step. Amen? I say do a half step. When you worship God with a pure heart. Come on, huh? And don't mind who look at you, how they look at you. I, 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 I,
point when I could be here? Yeah. Anybody can pinch? Huh? It's all because you fail. I'm going to read that in my stuff. So I'm not even one. I'm going to read it for you. One or two ways. And, and, and I finish it. But as soon as I said, Lord, most I shall buy and shall my I will say, the Lord is my refuge, my fortress, my God, and my trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl, and from the nurse of the he shall cover thee with his feathers, and on his way shall thou trust his truth, shall be thy shield and blood. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror of thy life, nor for the hour that fly by day. In other words, God can protect it day and night. It don't care how dark it is. Come on, man. Be easy to cut that electricity off.